If you're like me, you watch videos on YouTube, guys, guys like uh, Woodzo's Guitar Mods and stuff like that, and they are just ha they just he just has this freedom to just do whatever he wants to his guitars, and uh, it's very inspiring. But at the same time, it can be a little scary. I have a 1998 PRS CE22. Uh, it's American made. Paul Reed Smith with the bolt on neck. If you know anything about the older PRSs, they had what's called the Phase 1 winged locking tuners. And if you know anything about these tuners, they're a big pain in the butt to change strings on. You have to line it up right, then you have to turn these wings. I've wanted to replace these tuners for a decade now, and I never had the balls to add tuners that would drill into the headstock or ream out the tuner holes. I didn't want to do that. So I did some research and I found that the hip shot 3x3 three three, uh, locking tuners with the universal mounting plate required no drilling or anything. And I replaced the tuners on my PRS and it looks awesome. And I'm gonna do it on my Les Paul. Never really had much tuning issues with that guitar. I just wanted to get something that locked just to make string changing easier and a little more stability. Uh, so I bought two sets of hip shots and I had a, uh, a set of Godos lying around that I had bought about a year ago to put on this Les Paul, to put on my other Les Paul, I'm sorry, the, a Les Paul that I sold because that guitar wouldn't stay in tune. Um, so I had these Godos sitting around, um, but I'm going to try the hip shots. The hip shots worked on the PRS. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on film. So I just put new strings on it. I haven't cut them off yet, but that looks so clean and great. Uh, I went with the black hip shots. The only bad thing is that on the back, when you look at the back, excuse my string trash, you can see the old screw holes, but uh, you can see how the universal mounting plate works. Um, they, the tuners just click right in, no drilling or anything. To so see if I just had the hip shots, I'd have to drill a hole into the uh, head, drill little holes into the headstock for the screws there. But with the universal mounting plate, it, they just click right in, which is awesome. So, no more winged tuners. These are the old tuners. Um, they're made in Germany, PRS tuners. They're a huge pain in the butt. The wings are off of them right now, obviously but I'm just so satisfied with this. And it was really, really easy, even for a guitar noob, or a modding guitar noob like myself. I'm gonna try to see if the hip shots will fit on the Les Paul. It says that they're made for Les Paul, so let's check it out. So next, we're gonna put the hip shots on my Les Paul. There's nothing really wrong with these tuners. I've always just hated the way these tuners look. I always wish they had Grovers or something. Initially, I bought these. They're uh, Godos. They're supposed to be the same thing, except they're locking. But I read somewhere that you might have to ream the holes out a little bit. So I don't know if I trust that. So I got another set of the hip shots, just like the black ones I put on the PRS. These ones are in chrome. So... We're gonna give these a shot. And uh, hopefully I don't mess this guitar up. Cause this is like my absolute favorite guitar. First things first, we're gonna get the strings off and get these tuners off. And we've run into a problem. Uh, I don't think the hip shots are going to fit. It doesn't seem like they fit in the hole without having to ream the hole out, excuse the dog hair, and I am not reaming anything, so we might have, I have to get this ferrule, ferrule out, let's see if it fits after that, if not I might have to, have to go with the Godos. With the Godos, it came with this uh, little thing that you have to hammer to get the uh, bushings out, that's what I'm doing now, and trying not to destroy the headstock. Okay, I got the bushings out, and the 
hip shots just barely don't fit and I am not going to ream out the holes so I think I'm gonna install the godos let's uh let's give it a shot I got the new bushings in felt like I was gonna destroy the headstock hammering them in but um hey the sopranos is on let's take a closer look at these tuners this is a godo as you can see and this is the Gibson Deluxe. So they're pretty much, they said these Godos were a drop-in replacement, although it doesn't feel like it's a drop-in replacement based on how hard those uh, bushings had to go in. And let's compare it to the hip shot. The hip shot is just a hair too wide, this, this portion right here, which is a total bummer because they just look awesome with the open gears and they work really well. Um, it just barely doesn't fit. Like, I would have to ream just a little bit to get this portion in. Um, which bums me out because I really don't like the look of this style of tuner, but really want locking tuners. So, I guess this is, the Godos are going to have to be uh, what I use. All right, I, I got the Godos in. It looks really nice. It looks very, very clean. I'm just still, however, however, I'm still bummed about the hip shots not fitting because I just think they look so much better. These work a lot like the Phase 2 and Phase 3 PRS locking tuners. You unscrew the top and it comes up. You feed the string in and then tighten this part down locks it in place while still keeping the look of the uh, the vintage uh, Gibson tuners so oh well time to restring it all right I got the strings on I was just doing a little tightening um, you know just going until tightening until it just right before you're like struggling to tighten it just so it's tight but not too tight watching the sopranos again nothing like watching the sopranos while you uh work on your guitars you know that one's good i still am not crazy about the look of these um i mean i think the backs look great this is shiny and great it's just this i've never liked that look but um let me flip it around <clears throat> but the actual pegs themselves um these i think look better they're not as high up off of the head headstock i don't know if you can tell they're a little bit lower i don't know why this isn't focusing um they're a little bit lower there we go these are a little bit lower they don't come up so far off the headstock, um, which I think is cool. And I, ju I just have to put locking tuners on all my guitars now. Um, just makes changing strings so much easier. There we go. Strings are clipped. Nice and neat. No wraparounds. Uh, yeah. Two beauties with two new sets of uh, tuners here. I wish I would have gotten the PRS um, one on film. I just think that looks so much better than it did in the past. And that looks exactly the same, but now it has locking tuners, so. I do like how the tops of them look now better. These uh, were my two main gigging guitars back in the day. Done a lot of gigs with these these two. They definitely got some mojo. And uh, it's cool to... I think I've re-fallen in love with this bad boy just from the change. Don't know how crazy I am about looking at that, but... The tuners look awesome. I think. And, uh, you know, how often do you look at the back of a headstock? So... If I can do this, anyone can, because I'm an idiot when it comes to modification.
kudos to Hipshot for making locking tuners that fit onto my PRS. But also, boo Hipshot for posting that picture right there. That's a Les Paul headstock. And then having me buy these. You don't need to mod your guitar. And universal mounting plate makes insulation a breeze, and they don't fit my Les Paul. Oh.